Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Don't worry, we all make mistakes when we type. Luckily, PowerPoint includes an easy-to-use spell check that can help you create professional, error-free presentations. All you have to do is go to Review, then click the Spelling command. The spelling pane will appear on the right. PowerPoint will cycle through every error in your presentation, giving you the chance to type the corrections yourself or select one of their suggestions. Click Change to accept the correction and move on to the next error. Spell check isn't perfect though. Sometimes it'll say something is spelled wrong when it isn't, like people's names or proper nouns. If that happens, you have a couple of options. Ignore will skip the word one time without changing it. Ignore all will skip the word every time it appears in your presentation. And Add will add the word to the PowerPoint dictionary so it never comes up as an error again. Just make sure the word is spelled correctly before you go with this option. Let's close the spelling pane for now and look at some of the other errors on this slide. They're easy to spot because PowerPoint marks spelling errors automatically using these red wavy lines. Let's see. Here, I spelled the word June correctly but forgot to capitalize it. To correct the error, all you have to do is right-click and choose the proper spelling here. Looks like I also misspelled spectacular. If you're curious about changing spell check settings, just go to the Backstage view, then Options, and Proofing. Here, PowerPoint gives you the ability to change the way it addresses spelling errors, including the auto check, or check spelling as you type, and the use of grammar check, which helps you find and correct contextual spelling errors. Contextual spelling can help you find words that are spelled correctly, but may be used in the wrong way. Like the word then, as in first this, then that, versus six is more than five. If you decide to turn on Grammar Check, it's important to know that it isn't looking for all grammatical errors, only contextual spelling errors, so you'll still need to proofread your presentation to make sure no grammar errors are left behind. Check the box here if you want PowerPoint to hide the red wavy lines that mark any spelling errors in your presentation. This is the same as turning off the Auto Check. Notice how the box is checked and disabled now? In this mode, you can still find and correct spelling errors using the command on the Review tab. I prefer to leave Auto Check on, however, because it's just a really helpful tool. Click OK when you're finished to return to your presentation. It's still a good idea to have someone look over your work before you present it to an audience, just to be safe. Happy proofing!